Okay, we're given the graph of an exponential function and trying to come up with the equation of this exponential function. Um, this one is a kind of tricky one though, I'm gonna be honest. As you'll notice on this, it looks like on the right hand side, we're getting closer and closer to four, meaning that four would be a horizontal asymptote. So it's not located at the x-axis like normally. So we have to take that into account. So let's go ahead and state we have a horizontal asymptote at uh, y equals four. So let's take that into account. Normally, these functions are just like f of x equals a times b to the x power. But this one has this extra, everything's been moved up four units. All right, so let's put that transformation on here as well that I'm gonna add four to everything to move this horizontal asymptote from the x-axis when y equals zero up to when y equals four. So that is a little bit trickier on this problem than some other similar, um, find the equation of an exponential from the graphs. All right, next up, what I wanna do is I wanna locate a couple ordered pairs that are definitely on my graph here. So zoom in if need be, but I'm gonna identify the y-intercept because that's always handy to have. And that's the ordered pair zero, one. And it also looks like on here, maybe you go negative one, negative five, but I'm gonna go with one, three instead. All right, now that we have two ordered pairs, what I'm gonna do is create two separate equations based on these ordered pairs. So remember x value, f of x value, x value, f of x value. So let's first plug in zero, one. So one gets plugged in for f of x in that model I just wrote up above times equals a times b to the zero power plus four. Well, let's create a separate equation over here with our one, three. So the three gets plugged in for f of x equals a times b to the first power as we plug in one for x. And then don't forget that plus four for the transformation, everything got moved up here at the end. All right, looking at this left equation, I noticed that we have b to the zero power. That's actually pretty nice because we know that anything raised to the zero power is equal to one. So I can replace the b to the zero power with a one. Let's continue on with this equation. One times a is just gonna be a plus four equals one. So if I wanna get a all by itself, we'll just move the four to the other side, subtract it. So one minus four is gonna be negative three is gonna be our value for a. Okay, from here, we know our value from a, from that first equation. Let's take that value over to our second equation and plug it in, replace that a in the other equation. So we can say this is three equals negative three times b to the first power plus four. Okay, so replace this a with the negative three we found over on the left-hand side. Now with this equation, we only have the one unknown. Let's go ahead and solve for b. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move the four to the other side. So subtract four from both sides. One minus four makes negative one equals negative three times b. And then to get b all by itself, we'll divide by negative three. So in this case, I got b is one third. All right, so now we have a value for a and a value for b. So let's put these back together, back into our original one we wrote with the transformation, moving everything up for. So our function is gonna be f of x equals negative three times one third raised to the x power with a plus four added to the end of the entire thing. That's going to be the function that produces this graph. All right, hope this helps out. Locate that horizontal asymptote first if it's been moved off the x-axis and use a transformation such as this uh, to move it up for. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck as you're trying to find equations of exponential functions based on graphs.